Hello, everybody. I just uh, thought I'd take a minute with the recent bands coming out, just to kind of go over it and uh, talk about it and give my opinion on it a little bit. Uh, so in case you haven't heard, uh, these uh, Cauldron Familiar, Growth Spiral, The Fury Time Ra Tra Raveler, and Wilderness Reclamation have all been banned. So I figured I'd just kind of go over some stuff. Uh, the Wilderness Reclamation, I could see that totally because it's essentially a green fires of invention. I mean, <clears throat> they do things slightly differently, but in the end result, it's kind of basically the same. And if that's going to be banned, then I could see this too, just being banned. So I could see that coming, and I kind of thought that too. Uh, the Fury Time Raveler here, he really messes up with the game mechanic. So, I mean, I wouldn't, I didn't see him coming getting banned, but I could... Now that he's banned, I could see why they would do it. I mean, there's a lot of things where he just shuts everything down on people who have a certain type of decks, and he just can't use them at all. Uh, the other one I, I did, definitely did not expect to happen. I mean, people complained about it. I don't think it's super overpowered. It's annoying. The big thing is it just takes forever if you're playing against somebody with this for to go through all the motions consistently. It's going to be a long, long game. So I just, it just slowed everything down. It just made everything just unenjoyable. I think it's probably why this got banned. Not so much as how powerful it is versus how just annoying it is uh, to play. Uh, one I, I came through and then got banned uh, here. Uh, that is actually the growth spiral that I didn't see coming at all. I mean, this and then based on this, uh, their explanation was basically that too many people use it so that seems like that's kind of setting a new standard uh, for the reasons why we uh, ban different types of things so I was just thinking you know if they're gonna go ahead and just ban this um, since they went ahead and banned everything I think that they, the new standard I know right now Ugin's being used quite a bit so if this if it's gonna be it's just overused is it gonna be why we're banning it I feel like we're probably eventually gonna ban Ugin I mean right now it, He's the reason people are buying all the core set 2021 boxes, so they're not going to definitely ban them now. But I can see once they start, you know, making all their money that they're going to make off those, at some point, they'll just be like, and I know everybody's like, oh, he's already been through standard, he's not going to get banned, but everything's different now. Things are different, so I don't think he's going to last uh, until he's not going to rotate out, I'm pretty sure. And then, uh, as far as that goes, there's some cards that are just super powerful. And then, as soon as, basically, you put this card down, when Ota joined your forces, it's pretty much a win victory. For whoever puts it down, uh, very rarely can you stop it. If you had, I mean, you can counter it, but I'm just saying, if it resolves, it's pretty much it's a win for whoever does it. And almost as powerful as Texas, which just came out into the jump starts, so it's kind of the same thing, you know, a little different, a little different. But basically, if you go through, you know, creatures and non-human and non-human creatures and humans, and then vice versa with just goblins. They're kind of the same thing, essentially, in different ways. Just kind of like how Fires of Invention and uh, Wilderness Reclamation were kind of the same thing, but just done a little bit differently. So I can see those all getting banned uh, short, soon enough, too, as soon as they stop selling them. Uh, but, I, you know, rather than complain about all of the bans and whatnot, I think I've decided I want to go ahead and jump on the bandwagon. And I uh, want to nominate a couple things that I think maybe should probably get banned yeah so the one thing i think is uh i know that one of the reasons they got good of this is because the top eight people had a uh, timber recollection um and won the tournament the top eight uh, seven out of the eight people uh but the other person was red deck wins so i mean now red deck wins is out there so i was thinking you know w one thing we could ban they'll probably get rid of a lot of stuff that people complain about is just uh we should go ahead and ban mountains i mean right there you, you don't have to worry about goblins anymore. You don't have to worry about red deck wins. Aggro gets cut down immensely. So many people will just be so happy that we went ahead and, and banned mountains. I mean, I know it's going to be a fundamental change, but I think we'd all go ahead and get used to it after a while. And then give it about, I don't know, I'd say a month. And then we can go ahead and I'm thinking after that, we just go ahead and also ban islands. Because, I mean, think about it. If, if you don't have islands, then everybody complains about getting countered. Nobody likes getting countered. Now people aren't going to get countered. And then we can get rid of all of that. And nobody has to cry about any of that getting countered or anything. I mean, if you were at a chess tournament and somebody moved their knight on your turn, you would flip out. You would completely lose your mind. And you would say he's cheating. And that he would be cheating. And then they would, they would lose the tournament. 
So, I mean, let's go ahead. I think you know, we, we can go ahead and get rid of the mountains and then give it about a month and then get rid of the islands. And then, I don't know, maybe a month later, get rid of something else. I don't know. Let me know. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Have a good day.